Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to do a quick video here and hopefully I can help some of you with the Epson ET8550 printers that you're having trouble getting your color correct on a Mac computer. So real quick, I'll just show you what I do. I create my design in whatever program I'm using. The one I'm going to use today I created in Canva. And what I do once it's designed is I go ahead and save it in my downloads as a PNG file. Once that's done, I click the magnifying glass here, type in downloads, and it'll pull up your downloads folder. So click that. And this will pull up all the programs that you have downloaded. So I find my file and double click it to open it. So from here, you will go to file, all the way down to print. And this is the screen that should come up. Make sure your printer is set to the one that you're using. And then yours might be set to something different here, but these are your options. Um, once you set this, you can then go and use last use settings and it will save the settings from your previous print. So that's what I do. But generally here, if it's your first time, you'll wanna do, some people have great luck with plain paper. I always had good luck with the presentation paper mat. So that's the one that I use, but I would recommend you print the same image on both and see what one looks better on your exact printer. Um, so that's what you do there. Now this is the important part. Here you'll wanna do manage custom size if you're doing a large one and go ahead and enter in the 13 by 19 paper and name it what you want. I named mine sublimation paper. If you're just doing an eight and a half by 11, then by all means go ahead and do the US letter and that will give you your custom um, sizes that are already preset in the printer. This is the part I think most people are missing. You have to go into this preview button, drop down the menu, and then go down to print settings. And this is where you get to get into the print drivers. So you'll wanna make sure this is on best quality um, you'll want to change your paper to, you know, what one worked best for you. You can mirror your image here. I mirrored mine in Canva, but if I hadn't, I would click this button. That way I don't have to worry about mirroring every image individually. You'll want to make sure that this is changed to high quality. And then if you're noticing that your colors are still a little bit off, what you'll wanna do is go into advanced color settings. And this is where you can adjust your colors. So you can up your saturation, you can do what you need to do right here. Once you're done with all of that, you hit print. After you do this, then you can go in and use last use settings the next time you print and it will keep what you've done down here. And if you had it set to mirror image, then it will mirror your image automatically for you. So I really hope that this helps. Um, if you have questions, I'll try to answer. Um, this is just how I do it and it's been working fine for me. So good luck.